At PMQs today, Theresa May's arguments like Carillion's finances were on the verge of collapse. May insisted that while the government are doing everything they can to contain the Carillion crisis, it's also completely not their fault and also none of their business. And that's what we're doing. The right honourable gentleman said earlier in one of his questions it was the government's job to ensure that Carillion was properly managed. We were a customer of Carillion, not the manager of Carillion. And that's a very important difference. Look, I'm a customer at Tesco. If they go bust, I'll go shop at Sainsbury's. I won't have to step in and employ their staff or ask the girl who does my eyebrows to man the fish counter. But the government guaranteed the salaries of Carillion employees in 450 public sector contracts, and public services have had to step up when the private contractor failed to deliver, well, public services. And it is also important, it's also important that we have protected taxpayers from an unacceptable bailout of a private company. In fact, the collapse of Carillion stands to cost the taxpayer millions. Meanwhile, hedge funds have made £200 million predicting Carillion's demise. The private sector has known the company would collapse for years, so why was the government awarding them contracts as recently as last month? If it was the case, if it was the case that the government pulled out of contracts, or indeed private sector companies pulled out of contracts whenever a profit warning was issued, that would be the best way to ensure that companies failed and jobs were lost. There weren't just profit warnings. The company had just lost £1.2 billion. Private investors were fleeing. Public money was used to keep the private sector afloat. That's a bailout by any other name. What's more, whilst keeping Carillion on life support, the government was asleep at the wheel. For three months last year, the job of overseeing Carillion's public contracts was left vacant, a clear dereliction of duty. So much for conservative economic competence. Here's the problem with capitalism. Eventually, you run out of other people's money.